I can't believe I forgot to print her to film this. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I downloaded two files uh, from Shep Club. Uh, there'll be a link in the uh, description of this video. Uh, one of the files moves the print head to the four corners a couple of times and to the center a couple of times and it just allows you to adjust uh, the bed without manually you know, moving the print head around you know it's going to that very same place every time you run that leveling program and all I've done is taken an off A4 sheet of uh, standard printer paper and I've made it quite a tight fit underneath the uh, print uh, head in each of the four uh, corners and then in the middle uh, if it is just a fraction low then you're supposed to tweak each one of the corners uh, equally just a tiny amount um, I have used the supplied filament just for the hell of it and uh, I've just used this uh, SD card transferred the files from uh, the computer onto this and I've just you know, just run the profile um, to do the leveling. Uh, then I have run the other uh, program which is basically a test print and uh, the first thing it did was just sort of clear the nozzle um, that little bit there was hanging out the nozzle because I'd uh, cocked it up for the first time and I had to stop the print so it's just done that I guess just to clear the nozzle make sure it's fine and then it starts with the outside and uh, it's printing perfectly I see the finest little strand uh, just in oh, let's wait for it to come back you can perhaps see here the finest little strand of material I don't think that's a concern um, other than that it's absolutely perfect we are at the moment 48% of the way through and uh, I guess it's going to just raise these up. Um, bed is at 50 degrees allegedly. <laughs> I'm not just sure it is. The uh, fan on the side isn't running, uh, but the power supply fan has started up. Uh, so yeah, first test run looks uh, looks pretty good to me. Uh, every time you want to. Just print something, you can quickly level it, see if it's gone out of alignment with that first G code program. Uh, I think it's G code, uh, I'll have to have a look. Uh, and then we're good to print. I made the mistake of assuming once the program had uh, downloaded the file from the, um, with the SD card that it would be fine to unplug this. Uh, it, of course, it isn't. Uh, it doesn't transfer the whole code into this by the looks of it and if you unplug that it uh, will just crash and all it did to me was completely freeze and uh, there were some blank lines running across the display uh, so this is running absolutely perfectly I can't complain about this at all as you can see oh, I don't I don't know whether they call it stranding or whatever, this is all completely new uh, to me, but it uh, looks pretty good so far. Three percent. I don't know how much higher this is going to go. I probably will film the levelling process. I think <laughs> in my excitement to get this going, I just completely forgot that I'm supposed to be filming it. But uh, there you go. Let's see if I can uncoil that 
a little bit. I don't think it matters too much, it seems to be feeding it through quite nicely. So you can see the uh, required temperature at the top. We've then got the actual temperature. Uh, you can see the X, Y and Z axes. Um, what FR stands for? 71%. Is that elapsed time? 12 minutes? Or is that how much longer there is to go? I'm not sure. So you can see these being built up quite, uh, quite high now. I assume for all the experts out there, this, is, uh, this looks normal. Yeah, it looks like that is elapsed time because it's just gone up to 13 minutes. Nope. Guess that's it. What's it doing now? Okay, is that it? 13 minutes and 2 seconds, it's gone back. To, oh, I suppose it wouldn't go back to the home position, otherwise it would be here. And how could you, uh, how could you lift this off? So, uh, wow, that's... Um, it's well attached to that, there's no loose bits, and that is what, a couple of millimetres high is that? I have to get the measure out, but that looks really very good. Those are the finest possible strands. Can't imagine they would be causing any issues whatsoever, so really pleased with that. So that is the current position and it's all done. I think now you can just, I wonder how you can get this off. I know the magnetic thing just lifts off. So how easy is it to get this off? Oh, not easy at all actually. So let's lift this off and see what happens. Okay, so that does just lift off. This is quite flexible filament, and it's well stuck to that. <laughs> it's not coming off easily. <laughs> oh, there we go. Then you can see that has just lifted off there. Yeah, there we go. It's just... Hopefully you can see that coming away. Perfect. Hopefully I'm filming this. I'm trying to look at the camera and lift these squares off at the same time. And that is that just lift this off and put it down onto the bench. Yeah, <laughs> really good. So let's see if we can get a close up here of the corners. No, it's not quite going to get it, but there you go. You can see a little bit more material where the corners are, as you would expect. But that, I think, is a very good first pin. Now, how the hell am I going to get that off? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm going to pull that forward and off. And that is that. Just going now to go to 
the home position and that will be that. Ooh, I think I should have pulled that filament out whilst it was uh, still hot. Yeah, I think I should have done that. Never mind. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to warm the, uh, the head up to get that out. I think I should have pulled that out whilst it was still nice and hot. Anyway, so yeah, uh, not an entirely successful film, but uh, <laughs> you saw some of the very first print, so uh, yeah, quite pleased with that.